what's going on everybody welcome back to another video of the car do garage where car things happen and lately car things have been happening whether being bad or not we've been doing what we can so right now we're gonna be messing on the dodge dakota rt 5.9 truck what we got here is a power steering pump got the puller there so we're gonna take the pump off replace the lines everything so that's all done because there is a leak and no power steering so we got to do something about that so that's what we're going to do so we're going to start by taking off this belt getting the pulley off getting the pump out the lines out and everything and start getting all the new stuff on obviously so nothing else to do but to do it so let's get you guys up on the tripod and start yanking things apart and see if we get this thing to rip down the road here soon first thing we're going to start by doing is pulling the belt off so to do that Go on the tensioner, take some tension off, and we can take the belt off just like that. So we're just taking it off the power steering pump pulley. We don't gotta take it completely off of everything. We're not replacing the belt, the belt is new. So now we're getting the power steering puller and start pulling the pulley off. And the tools you'll need 13 16th and a 5 8 Put that on there and this one right here and we'll crank that baby down off the pump so now that the pulley's off we can access the pump you'll have four bolts one two three and four to get the pump off but i'm going to remove the bracket completely so that i have room to work to do the lines and everything and then i can take the pump off of the bracket later so just a 14 millimeter one two Three. And there's another one right here that it seems I'm going to have to use an open end on. So let me get an open end wrench. Right. Nine sixteenths right here. That's what you call a dirty power storm bracket. We gotta clean this up. No, don't put that in my pocket. <laughs> Go put him in your bucket. <laughs> There's the pump. It's over there by the door. I didn't record me taking the lines off because it's down there in a dark, deep hole. So no one's gonna see that. So there's the pump. Alright guys, so <clears throat> she went ahead and got the other side of the high pressure line off the rack we got a new one right here so you can go ahead and slap that baby on there then run it up and then here's the new pump uh, i'm gonna go ahead and clean this here and then we'll get all put back together start it up and hopefully no more leaks so that's the plan <laughs> and then from there if it's all good this will tell us if the rack is bad too because you guys remember when we're doing the control arms i hit the fillet boot and fluid started pouring out of it but this pump was leaking so we're just trying to determine if the rack is bad or fluid just leaked into it and just was stored in there until that got ripped so hopefully that's what happened if not then we'll have to get a rack for it as well but it's all good it's all part of the game 
So, let's get this put back together. <laughs> you can by hand run that down the nut down or the bolt and then there's another part on it that is going to be what pushes it in so you're going to hold this one with a wrench and then kind of just ratchet that one in and it's going to close the gap up and put the belt on it put some fluid in this thing we can hear all 1200,000 foot pounds of no torque this truck has and go from there day it just got dark quick while we're doing this so figured i'd wait till the next day to show you guys that the truck is on running pump is bled out fluid is popped off no leaks anywhere that's good that we don't have to we don't got to dive into anything else on power steering system so now he can turn the wheel no leaks no because before he was saying you put fluid in it and just leak straight out Big accomplishment there. So after now, all we got left is to do the sway bar bushings, high rods, and then all of the rear suspension stuff, which will be in the next video. Once we get all that done, then we'll get the truck cleaned up, everything, and tires put on it, make the truck look good, nice detail inside and out. Put this baby on the road and shred some tires on this thing. I want to see this thing in action because it's silver truck. He said it's quick it's a quick truck these trucks are quick but this one has some gearing done to it this one is stock but he was saying for some reason this truck feels faster than the silver truck i don't know why but yeah well this truck has an exhaust too the other one has stock exhaust just gearing but this has exhaust work done on it so, i don't know probably not a long video but something we did on the truck and I know a lot of people like these trucks. I like these trucks. And not many people make videos on them, so figured I'd make one on it. Doing the power steering pump and all that. But if y'all enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Have the post notifications on so y'all notified when we do post videos and stuff. Leave a comment below, all that good stuff. Pretty soon you'll be seeing a couple of these cars hitting the track because we're not far from the track out here. So I know he's down to take this truck to the track to see what it does. 
and the red truck, we're going to be taking the Accord to the track. And when the hard body is done, we're going to be taking the hard body there too. And see what times we can lay down on all these vehicles. So it's going to be a fun packed video when we do that. But it's going to be it, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out and God bless.